understand is that the Bitcoin uh, came came to be from 2008 2009 uh, financial crisis. So basically, what happened is is that there was a lot of uh, financial instability, and uh, obviously people lost a lot of money on the stock market. There was also uh, issues with the liquidity of the cash and uh, Satoshi, whoever that is, decided that uh, it's best to have some sort of uh, digital asset that you can use uh, and have self-custody of without relying on the any sort of intermediary or counterparty. So a counterparty or an intermediary uh, or a middleman is somebody who handles your money and you're using them to actually to move money around. So when that middleman fails, now you can't get your money back um, at all, or maybe just, you know, things get very slow and you have to wait, you know, uh, a week or maybe a couple of months, or you're having issues with transmission of the money and there's all this kind of liquidity crunch. And so Bitcoin and crypto and blockchain was designed to bypass the ability to transmit the digital assets seamlessly without any sort of middleman. So that's what I would call uh, one of the first principles of crypto. In first, in first principles of crypto, the way that I understand it, it's self-custody. Obviously, transparency is something that you can you can um, you can audit, as well as uh, trust through consensus. Consensus is the peer-to-peer -peer network agreeing that whatever you have done is actually valid. And you cannot double spend the money that you have in your wallet, for example. So those are the first principles that were aimed to solve the issues that came about from 2008, 2009 liquidity crunch and financial crisis.